Now you'll draw better lines than I will, but I want you to draw one line straight up and down in the middle of the page, and the other line straight across. So you're dividing the paper into four quadrants. Everybody divide the paper into four quadrants. Now, on the bottom right quadrant, because I want you to think that this paper is work related, on the bottom right quadrant, at the top of the quadrant, write the name of whoever is your most significant other. A husband, uh, somebody that qualifies as your most significant other. Right there. You only get, you only get four names on this sheet of paper, so you gotta, you gotta decide carefully. Now on the top left, there is one person that you talk to deal with more in work than anybody else. Mine is Carl Krayer, my colleague at the First Friday Book Synopsis. Write the name of that person right here. Top left. So you've got top left, most frequently talked to colleague at work, bottom right, your significant other. Now you've got two more quadrants. I want you to put the next two people, now you don't get bogged down here, that you deal the most with. I'll tell you who I've got. I've got Larry James, the CEO of Central Dallas Ministries. I do a monthly event with him and constantly talk to him. And then in the bottom left, I, I, I'm illustrating it by writing Sarah and Cheryl today, but they're really not that frequent collaborators. I love working with them. So I've actually got another name here. So you want four names on this sheet of paper. These are the four people you deal most frequently with. So everybody write that down. Or work work, work, work related. Work related. All right, now, let's do a little test. Raise your hand if you've ever gone to the grocery store to buy something specific. You bought other stuff, got home, and forgot what you went for. Let, let's see that. All right, good. Now, raise your hand. I want you to think about this. You talked to, met with, emailed back and forth with this person that you do the most work with. And then, kind of after it's over, you hit yourself in the forehead and said, I forgot to talk to them about this. Okay. This is a magic sheet of paper. Never let this leave your body. Never. And when you're driving along, when you're at your computer, and you think, oh, I need to talk to Carl about such and such, you write it down. And then every time you talk to Carl, at the end of the agenda, you look at your paper and say, oh, Carl, I need to ask you these two things. This is a magic sheet of paper. And I promise you that this little suggestion will make you more productive. I don't remember where I first read it. I've done it for years. It is an absolute magic sheet of paper. I have it on my desk. I keep it handy. And so there you go. There. You can pay me what you think it's worth. But it's a brilliant idea. It's a brilliant idea. Now, if you will look at your handout, I'm going to show you what we just did. Go to the second page and go down about five or six quotes to the quote from page 85, and here's the quote. The highest performing people I know are those who have installed the best trick in their lives. The best tricks in their lives make them high performing. This sheet of paper is a trick. There are lots of other tricks. For example, when I know that... I this book is nothing but a book of tricks. That's all it is. It's got a principle that undergirds it. I'm going to tell you the principle. It's buried in all the notes, but here it is. Are you ready? You can only think of one thing at a time. You can't think of more than one thing at a time. It's impossible. You think you can, you can't. And you think you can remember everything you have to do. You idiot. <laughs> you can't remember everything you have to do. And so you have to write everything you have to do down. And it has to be where you can immediately and simply retrieve it or you won't see it. 
That's the book. That's the whole